It's your boy King here, the great AK with Capo, coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, y'all know what to do. So this is day two, and I have a, I'm not gonna lie, it's not really been easy processing this at all. For those who don't know, Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest NBA players to have ever lived, got killed in a car cr uh, helicopter crash. And ever since I did that video last um, yesterday, the news have been more tragic. His daughter, Gigi Bryant, got killed, as well as the pilot and several others. This has just been a very hard pill to swallow. I haven't really been able to focus, to be honest. I mean, considering the fact that I wasn't a big fan of the guy, but I respected his game. What I respected about Kobe was his drive, his willingness to win, not being afraid of taking leadership, accepting that his playing days were over and moving on to a better stage in his life because he was great at what he did. He was great at what he did. He set out what he wanted to accomplish that he moved on because a lot of players and a lot of athletes, they have trouble grasping when their time is up. Kobe accepted it and went down in a blaze of glory. That game, that last game he played against Utah was a movie chapter to his legacy. It was the appropriate way to end his legacy. So then he evolved into the tech business and he started grooming his daughter Gigi to start playing in the Yukon. And then this happens. It's just crazy how life turns out. It's crazy how he retires. He starts enjoying the fruit of his labor after putting in 20 years plus in the NBA. And all of us is gone within a snap of a finger. And I'm not going to lie. It hit me hard. Not because I'm a super duper fan, but for the simple fact that we grew up in our era watching Kobe play. He was a part of our generation. He was a part of that generation where we went hard at what we did. We were very competitive. I remember a lot of the games we used to watch together as with my family and friends. Every year the NBA Finals was something like a gathering moment for us. The playoffs or watching special games and watching special rivalries that the Lakers would have. It was a gathering moment. It was a family moment, and he was a part of those memories. So, looking at some of these tributes has been hard for me to watch because it seems unreal to me. Seems also that just looking at rest in peace next to Kobe Bryant, it just hits hard. I haven't really been able to accept it still. A lot of people that even follow him especially haven't really been able to accept it. It just seems surreal to me that he's gone, that we were talking about Kobe Bryant in the past tense. I don't know, I don't know, I mean, the funeral is going to be the rough part. The funeral is going to be the rough part because you got these, him, his daughter, and several other people that's going to be buried that same day. And what a way to go out, man. For LeBron James to surpass him in the record and Kobe being the classy guy that he was and he started to become, he embraced LeBron and in the passing of the torch. And what symbolic way for him to pass the torch and he's gone the next day. It's unbelievable. Still don't believe it. So, rest in peace Kobe Bryant, rest in peace Gigi Bryant. My thoughts and prayers off the cuff radio we send on behalf to his family, his friends, the victims that were on that helicopter as well. I don't know if we're going to do a tribute show or not. I mean, I've just been out of it, man. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, rest in peace, Bean, rest in peace, GG, rest in peace to all the victims. Thoughts and prayers go out to them, and we'll get back at y'all. Peace.